Okay, welcome back students. Today we're going to cover uh, discovery in the Florida family law context. But first, let me talk about discovery in general when we're talking about discovery in a civil matter, a civil litigation. Uh, discovery is just basically the process of gathering evidence that you will use to support your claim, refute a claim, or uh, or support a defense. Some defenses require evidence in order to prove, but in generally the burden of proof, the burden of proof is on the party who's filed the claim. They have to prove it. And so they need to accumulate and, and gather the evidence that they need to support it. Now, discovery fills out what I'll, what I'll call the closed universe of civil litigation because civil litigation is a process of gathering all the evidence and putting it all into a universe and then that universe gets closed in a sense that when you get to trial uh, the judge isn't going to allow you to f to introduce new evidence that hasn't been discovered during this discovery process they won't allow you to call a witness that you haven't uh, disclosed uh, they won't allow you to bring in uh, you know paperwork that you haven't turned over uh, unless it's a uh, very, very uh, compelling reason to do so, uh, such as very last minute um, creation or discovery of these sort of things. But in general, it's a closed universe. And so this process is very important because you're going to fill that universe with all of the facts and evidence that you will then use at trial. Now, how do you do this? Well, discovery, in my opinion, is broken into two big phases. The first phase I'll call the informal discovery phase. And that's where you go about just gathering the evidence on your own without any official paperwork uh, and use of the court. In other words, you can have the client or the, the client can simply get the tax returns, get their tax returns, get their bank account statements, get their financial statements, get the property uh, uh, you know, records and those things that they have legal access to and, and turn them over uh, to you, uh, turn them over to the paralegal or, or start to assemble them themselves in, in an effort to get the information they need in order to, uh, again, prove the claim. Once a proceeding has started officially, so in Florida, like once you have filed a, uh, a dissolution, a petition for a dissolution of marriage, for instance, then you go enter into what is called the formal uh, stage of discovery. And this is where you turn to the uh, family uh, laws of, uh, of procedure. And the Family Laws of Procedure spells out exactly the types and the methods of formal procedure, formal discovery that you can use in order to gather the evidence. And the formal stage is broken into what I'll say broken into two parts. The first part is uh, mandatory disclosure. Now for mandatory disclosure, I want you to look at two things. I want you to look at Florida, uh, uh, the Family Law Rule. 12.285 that spells out the mandatory disclosure exactly what you have to disclose and when which is 45 days after service of the uh, of the pleading and take a look at form 12.932 that's form 12.932 I've got links below to it but that form is a certificate of compliance and if you look at that form it spells out exactly what it is that you're compli you're certifying that you have turned over now the point of mandatory disclosure is to fulfill one of the goals of discovery which is to move this process along and to get the parties to exchange this information right at the beginning so that um, so that they're not hunting and searching for it you know for months at a time because uh, discovery is not meant to be a game of hide and seek. It's not supposed to be a treasure hunt. It's supposed to be uh, an open and full disclosure of, of the evidence that you have or the evidence that you think the other party has. And so that's what the, the rules and the laws are designed to do, to turn that information over and not hide it. You can't hide it unless you have a legal ground for not turning it over, such as uh, it being work product or protected by the attorney-client privilege. Um, now, if you go to the uh, Florida uh, Family Law Rules of Procedure, again, like I said, they spell out exactly the different types of formal discovery. The big ones are interrogatories, depositions, uh, requests for production of documents, and um, requests for admission. Those are sort of the big four. Uh, there's others concerning expert witnesses, uh, examination of a person, or an evaluation of a child. 
There, those are all different types of formal uh, discovery processes that can be used. The, the rules lay it out exactly how you're supposed to do it. If you look at the Florida uh, Family Law Forms 12.930 to 12.932, those contain some general forms for interrogatories and uh, uh, service of requests for production on non-parties, which you can do. In other words, if you want to get information not from, uh, not from the defendant, not from the, the, the party themselves, but you want to get it from their bank, for instance, or their, uh, whoever might be handling their money, you'd have to send out uh, a non-party uh, disclosure, a subpoena. But the rules cover exactly how to do that, and you'll learn that all with practice. So those, those, those are the two sort of phases of formal discovery, and again, the, the purpose of it and the design is to encourage a full frank uh, disclosure of the evidence. I've also included a link to the 2019 Florida Handbook on Civil Discovery Practice. It's not, it's not written specifically for family law, but it's very, very uh, useful and relevant. And if you really want to get a thorough overview and become a real expert, uh, take a look at that. Uh, Take a look at that handbook and, and read it and know it and uh, and I'll go into more details about these uh, different uh, formal processes in additional videos. If you have any questions please ask them below and I'll see you again next time.